Hey there, welcome back to our channel. My name is Ibrahima. In today's video, we'll be discussing essential strategies to optimize API performance. APIs or application programming interfaces play a vital role in connecting different software applications and systems. However, if an API is slow or unresponsive, it can significantly impact the user experience and overall system performance. So let's dive in and explore how to enhance API performance effectively. Before we begin, let's emphasize why API performance is so crucial. In today's fast-paced digital world, users expect instant responses and smooth interactions. Slow APIs can lead to frustrated users, decrease customer satisfaction, and even lost revenue opportunities. Therefore, optimizing API performance is paramount for delivering a seamless experience to your users. Now, before you jump into optimization, it's vital to identify the actual bottlenecks through load testing and profiling requests. Only begin optimization once you've confirmed that an API endpoint has performance issues. Keep in mind that optimization is a secondary process that comes after problem identification. The first strategy we'll discuss is caching. Caching involves storing frequently accessed data in memory, allowing subsequent requests for that data to be served faster. By implementing caching in your API, you can reduce the load on your server and significantly improve response times. You can further offload this task from your server and improve API response times by implementing response compression techniques like gzip or broadly and using content delivery networks or CDNs like Cloudflare. Another optimization technique is connection pooling. Instead of opening a new database connection for each API call, maintain a pool of open connections. Creating a new connection each time involves a lot of overhead, and reusing connections can greatly improve throughput. If you're using serverless architecture, explore solutions like Amazon Web Service RDS, Proxy and Azure SQL database serverless for connection pooling. Closely related to database performance, another important factor in API performance is efficient database queries. Slow database queries can be a major bottleneck in your API's performance. To optimize this, ensure that your queries are properly indexed and avoid unnecessary joins and subqueries. Regularly analyze and optimize your database schema to ensure optimal performance, like avoiding n plus 1 query problems. This occurs when accessing data and related entities inefficiently. For example, fetching blog posts and their comments can lead to numerous queries. Instead, fetch the data in a single query or two, reducing the number of round trips to the database and improving performance. Moving on to the next tip, consider using pagination. If your API response returns a large amount of data, it can slow things down. Break the response into smaller, more manageable pages using limit and offset parameters. This speeds up data transfer and reduces load on the client side. Our fifth technique focuses on using lightweight JSON serializers. The speed of your serialization process can make a noticeable difference in response times. Consider using a fast serialization library to minimize the time spent converting your data into JSON format. Next, let's talk about asynchronous logging. In high throughput systems where every millisecond counts, writing logs can add up. Asynchronous logging involves quickly placing log entries into an in-memory buffer while a separate logging thread writes the logs to the file or sends them to the logging service. Keep in mind that with asynchronous logging, there's a small chance you might lose some logs if your application crashes before the logs are written. Finally, load balancing and horizontal scaling are two strategies that can help distribute the workload across multiple servers, increasing the overall capacity and performance of your API. Load balancing evenly distributes incoming requests, preventing any single server from being overwhelmed. Horizontal scaling involves adding more servers to your infrastructure to handle increasing traffic. By implementing these strategies, you can ensure that your API remains responsive, even during peak usage periods. And there you have it. We've explored essential strategies to optimize API performance. Remember, before optimizing, diagnose the actual bottlenecks. By implementing these techniques, you can make your APIs faster and more efficient. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, 
give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative content. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. See you next time.